Can I have a kiss? George? Lovely. So he loves new people now. We're at home. And I take him out when someone else comes in. Like that he's never met before. He'll go straight over to them and then bite me if I want to take him out. Oh my god. So well. after you got the bird, is that when you started following Marley? Well no, I, I was looking at all our videos because I love birds, I really oh, do. Yeah. And then um I would more so because I just wanted to kind of get him. I would never have been used to training birds and things like that before, really. Um but then I was in the power station, that's it. <laughs> my life now yeah you don't trust me you guys are a food co company get educated you can't have coffee Guys, guess what? I have a little visitor. Oh yeah, this is Buddy. And by the way, I'm in Ireland, okay, in Killarney. And I have Buddy, he came to visit. His mommy doesn't want to be on TV. But she came all the way from Mean. Mean? Mead. Mead. And I love him so much. He's the cutest little Laura Keith. Aren't you the cutest, Buddy? He's the cutest. Say hi, look at the camera. And he sniffs so good. He gets the best little fruit mix. What do you think, buddy, of the camera? You like it? Yeah? The camera. You love the camera because you know you're beautiful. You know what I should do for you guys for Parent Tip Tuesday? Let's talk a little bit about lorikeets. What should we say about lorikeets? Well, they're little fruit slash nectar eaters. They've got a brush on their tongue. My lorikeet used to stick his tongue in my mouth and then put it in my ear like a wet willy. Once again, saliva's not good for birds, but I mean, let's be real. Oh, Buddy likes my shirt because he likes the mesh, so he doesn't want to come off. Buddy is super friendly. He's a very happy bird. <gasps> he has a ball. He loves to play with his ball. Guys, one thing you should know about lorikeets, though, is because they eat a lot of liquids and nectar and fruits, the way their droppings are, sometimes they're very liquidy and spray everywhere, but actually, um, Buddy's been pretty good and um, pretty potty trained. I'm very impressed. He eats a lot. This guy's like busy. I can't believe how friendly you are. He's such a good bird, guys. Don't run out and get lorikeets now, though, because they're a little bit more difficult than other birds, so. They're beautiful, but not something I would run out and get if you've never had a bird before. And even if you have had parrots, also not something I would run out and get. But he's just gorgeous and well behaved. And here we are in the park in Killarney. And I can't believe he came to visit me. I'm so very, very lucky. So the things that you should know about lorikeets are they hop. They have a lot of energy. So they're kind of very bouncy, which is very very cute he's very friendly much friendlier than my gypsy was gypsy was friendly to people he knew but like when he got mad he got mad this guy's actually been very friendly with everybody so um that's very interesting to know because if you think about it you know how birds can be one person birds buddy has displayed a willingness to visit everyone he actually talks he says, hi, buddy. Uh-oh, a doggy's coming. Hold on. All right, guys. So I want to tell you something. Buddy is chilling right now. While he's chilling, he's eating because he eats like all the time. I'm not kidding you. Another reason that these birds are a little bit high maintenance, aside from the fact that I mentioned they're nectar eaters, is because you legitimately have to cut up fruit for them consistently. Of course, we talked on our cooking show about, he's nodding right now, I kid you not. We talked on our cooking show about how you do want to feed your birds healthy food and chop all the time. But these birds, literally, that's, this is what they eat. So like all they eat. And if you're not in America where you can 
can't get just like access to a bird store. This bird right now is in Ireland and his mommy, Natasha, she has to order his food from England, okay? So before he comes out, he's coming, here he is. Well, buddy's like, let me be on this video. Look at the mix that she brought for him. You wanna look, you wanna show the camera all about it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So she has in there grapes, blueberries, apples. Um, I even see broccoli in there. This is like some high maintenance mommy stuff. Lucky she has two kids, so she's ready for this. And she actually gives him the dry fruit too, which is pretty impressive. She says that he eats it. And what I like about it is obviously that's what's making his droppings a little bit thicker and less liquidy, cause I can see it here in the cage. And generally, that's that's one of the difficult things about these birds is that it's all liquid droppings. So if I have to deter you from getting one of these, because a lot of times these are impulse buys, let me just describe the worst case scenario. If you don't have a potty trained lorikeet, you're talking about liquid splattered all over the walls and every 30 seconds. And you guys know I'm just telling you the worst because I don't want any impulse bird buying because these are some of the most beautiful birds you can ever, ever get. And this guy's really friendly, so I could see how he would be very tempting right now for you all to run out and look for a lorikeet. What else do we need to say about him? So this is what he's eating, and he has a really, really big, big cage. This is what I hear, and they smell phenomenal. He loves being cuddled and put on his back, and I know that I'm making it look so, so good right now, but let me tell you, if you're like any kind of OCD, this is not the bird for you. But anyway, look at that face. Buddy, what do you wanna say to the camera about your life? Anything? Do you have anything to say? So yeah, if you've never met a lorikeet before, they are native to Australia. Oh, he's just gorgeous. Guys, I'm so in love. That is all. If you guys have any questions about lorikeets, put them in the comments below and Natasha will be stalking this video and she'll be checking it out. And anyway, that's it. I love him. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Tell me how much you love, buddy because I love him too. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Marlene McCohen. And of course, for more pictures of Buddy, join Parrot Station because his mommy is very active on there. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to tell you guys, Buddy loves his toys and he loves beaded toys just like Picasso and he's been sitting here playing with them. I put the cutest video on my Instagram, but it'll be too late by the time you see this, sorry. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you. Give Buddy some love in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye! <laughs>